Our topic right now is religion in the classroom. John Freshwater taught at the Mount Vernon School District for some 21 years, just got named Teacher of the Year. He was unanimously fired by a school board for allegedly teaching his religious values in, in classroom. Joining me is his attorney, Kelly Hamilton. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. You're welcome, sir. You know, I Back spent in. about uh, 14 years in the Buckeye State. Uh, the only thing they take more seriously than their football is their education. Uh, John Freshwater, 21 years, just got named Teacher of the Year. How do you get fired? First of all, sir, if I could just go ahead and point out, he has not been fired, has not Thanks. been terminated. It has been uh, declared that they will consider terminating him. So he has not been terminated at this point. So what's your status right now, Mr. Freshwater? We are... Uh, He's going to submit some paperwork to the school board this coming this week, mm -hmm. and uh, we will go before the uh, the board or a referee uh, when they make that decision, probably within the next month. All right. Well, let's take it from the top. A whole laundry list of allegations against you, Mr. Freshwater. Uh, one of them is that you uh, bring your uh, trusty Bible to school and you have it on your on your desk, have it in there for for a number of years. That you have displayed the Ten Commandments, uh, religious verses, and that you uh, are teaching creationism in class. Anything true to any of that? No, no. Right there is some serious confusion right there. I do not teach creationism. I teach evolution. That's one of my standards in the eighth grade. You've always taught evolution. You know what? That's a great question. Yes, I have. I'm a science teacher. I taught in Idaho. I taught evolution there. And I uh, have three standards uh, here in eighth grade to teach uh, evolution. One of the allegations is that alongside of evolution, you're also teaching something that uh, many people call intelligent design. That is to say that there had to be some sort of being because the world is so complex, uh, but for an intelligent hand, we wouldn't all be here. Have you been teaching that in addition to evolution? Let me, let me just teach you something very quickly here. We've got three categories. We have evolution over here, we have ID, intelligent design, right. and over here we have, uh, we have creation, okay? I teach evolution. I do not teach ID. I do not teach creation. My standards are in evolution. And that's what I teach. I understand your position. I'm telling you what the board has been saying. Mr. Freshwater engaged in teaching of a religious nature, teaching creationism and related theories, calling evolution into question. He had other materials in the classroom that could be used mm. for that purpose. It suggests to me, I'm, mm. and I'm asking, suggests to me yeah. that, that they're accusing you of teaching ID intelligent design. You're saying you're not doing it. No. First of all, sir, he is being accused of doing just that, teaching intelligent design and creationism. Right. He teaches evolution. As we all know, investigations can provide some information, but they don't provide the entire picture. Most importantly, there are many allegations in that particular investigative finding that John was never even questioned about. Mr. Ha Mr. Will be Mr. A Mr. Hamilton, one, one of them is the allegation that he, that he burned a cross or uh, an X <laughs> on somebody's arm. I, tell <laughs> Mr. tell me about that, Mr. That. Freshwater. Hey, I, I want to stop that right now. I did not. Well, that's why I brought it up. Anybody. I want to know. <laughs> Please I, do. I, I, mean, I did not. John Freshwater did not brand anybody. Okay? That, that, is, not, that is not truth. I did not brand anybody. So, so someone made it up? Sir, you've seen a picture <laughs> right? that has been purported to be a particular mark. Somebody has put the uh, cross designation upon that particular mark. John very thoroughly explained, not only to the investigators, but to anybody that will listen, he has not burned, branded, or made any kind of religious symbol upon anybody, not himself, not his family, and certainly not a student in a public school system. <laughs> so, there has not, by, not been any medical evidence deduced indicating so, that So, that Mr. Freshwater, that, that wasn't, I'm just, I'm asking, that wasn't a result yeah. of some sort of scientific experiment designed to put across so that you can promote your religious beliefs? That's First what I'm all, reading. That's what I'm hearing. No? He did no. not design to put a cross, cross on that particular arm. He's no. very thoroughly explained that what, was, on many occasions. What was the cross or the X a result of an experiment you performed on a student? There was a particular experiment that he's been doing for 21 years, and John will speak more precisely to that, but let's not load the question with an improper premise, mm -hmm. and that is that he branded or put a religious symbol upon anybody. Okay. He conducted yeah. the same scientific yeah. experiment that he, in addition to several other teachers there okay. in Mount Vernon okay. City okay. School Okay, Mr. System, Freshwater, uh, the, the, the Bible. How long have you had the Bible on your desk? I have had that Bible on my desk since I've been in Mount Vernon. 21 years. 20, 21 years. No one said anything? No one had a problem no, with it until? 
Very good. No one has ever said anything about my Bible on my desk. Were you ever asked to remove it? No, not till April uh, 10th, uh, 2007, I was asked to remove that Bible. Actually, 2008. Hey, excuse me. <laughs> okay, and uh, what about posting the Ten Commandments and biblical verses on the wall or on bulletin boards or something like that in your classroom? Where had, you, had you done that? Yeah, I'm very submissive to my authorities. They told me to remove those things, and I, I complied. I did remove those. Okay. Uh, now, you said you were asked to, to, to have the Bible removed on April the 10th? Yeah, 2008. Okay, okay and what prompted that? <laughs> you know what? That's a great question. Um, we simply do not know. We do not know exactly why they asked him to remove the Bible. Yeah. However, what we do know is that in December of 2007, a student allegedly came forward through their parents and complained that they had somehow been harmed by the scientific experiment mm -hmm. that others have had the opportunity to enjoy through the years. I, I should point out that uh, Mr. Freshwater, Mr. Hamilton, that the school board, we try to get their side and they're not available for comment. I suspect they're probably afraid of, of litigation. Uh, Mr. Freshwater, well, you said, well, you said, you said they're afraid of comment. You, you, you said that you were very submissive to authority, but did the school board not tell you to remove the Bible, and did you not refuse to remove it? You know what? I, I, did, I did not remove my Bible. That is where I'm standing. That Bible has been with me 21 years in that desk. It's been in my pocket when I used to smoke jump out in Idaho. It was with me when I was over in China for a year. The Bible goes with me. And that's what gives me my, that's how I'm able to teach it gives me my inspiration. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, uh, it's me. Mr. Freshwater, Freshwater I'd love to give you the, like to give you the last word, but again, if I'm the school board, I might, might argue uh, we should have stopped you 21 years ago, and for 21 years we've allowed you to have a Bible there. We shouldn't have allowed you to have a Bible there. You went further uh, by putting up the Ten Commandments and biblical verses, and so you crossed the line. But y'all want to give you the last word. All I want to do is keep my Bible on my desk. Well, I, you know, it's a very fascinating case, and, you know, I'm a lawyer, and these uh, religious cases are all over the place. Uh, some courts rule that a display uh, as innocuous, I'm sure Mr. Freshwater would say, as a Bible are perfectly okay. Uh, others rule that this is indoctrination. Uh, they are engaging in proselytizing. Bottom line is the school board asked him to remove it. Uh, he didn't remove it. Uh, they perceived this to be insubordination. If I were teaching uh, and I had a parent who had a problem with my Bible being out there, especially a parent who was an atheist or, as I said earlier, an agnostic or a Muslim, or believed in some other, other faith, and, and I was offended by that, these are, after all, public schools, I would remove the Bible. Uh, bottom line. Uh, and uh, it seems to me that Mr. Freshwater, probably with very good intentions, is trying to make a statement about his Christian beliefs in God, and it seems to me the public school setting is an inappropriate place for that. My, my opinion. And coming up, college liberal bias, even in commencement speeches?